Good afternoon everyone, Country Flyboy here, and today, taxi in and shut down with the Milvis Cessna 310. Watching that citation taxi out. Alright, so we just came off the landings video, did normal landing here. We are ready to taxi in to the runway, so the uh, the airplane will be will be um set up for the taxi in already since there is no taxi in checklist your after landing flows take care of that so again the after landing flow is strobe and landing lights off fuel pumps should be set to low transponder to standby actually it should be in the on mode these days uh, mixture set and flaps up so we are ready to go in marshaller is standing out there waiting on us to go over there so no taxi in checklist we just really we just have to taxi it in just like we taxied it out now for some reason the checklist does specify having the um the fuel pumps in the low position when taxiing in and I don't know why because they don't have to be on for taxi out they just have to come on after engine startup to purge the fuel lines and you can switch them back off afterwards so I don't know why but the checklist says do it so I guess we'll do it that citation is getting ready to take off remember your crosswind corrections as you taxi here we go here and we'll just follow the marshaller's instructions to park the airplane. Let's watch that citation take off real quick. I'm going to set the brakes. Let's watch the Citation get airborne before we start shutting down. I can't resist watching AI traffic sometimes. Citation X is a beautiful airplane. There he goes. Look at that takeoff. Alrighty. Before the marshaller throws a fit. Shutdown checklist. I'm going to run through it real quick, but I'm not going to do anything with it. Parking brake set, avionics off, all switches except battery, alternator, and mags off, aux pumps off, throttle idle, mixture cut, batteries alternator off, mags off, alternator off. Again? Master battery off. Why has it got that twice? Control lock installed. That's just securing. Okay. So what is the flow for um, this, uh, this setup? Once the parking brakes are set, what's the flow for the um, shutting down of the aircraft? Like with most other flows with this plane, we start from the left side switches and work our way to the right. So to shut down the plane, avionics, off. Fuel pumps. Off. Magnetos. Lead them along. Skip the alternator and master battery. Those get turned off last. Mixture. Cut it off. So again, avionics off. Fuel pumps off. Mixture. Oh, your lights too. Avionics. Lights. Only the anti-collision light should be on. Mix or <sighs> Avionics. Lights. Fuel pumps. Then kill the mixture on each engine. Confirm both props have stopped spinning. We can then go magnetos off, lights off, alternators off, master battery off. The fans will um, come to a stop. <clears throat> we will deflate the door seal and open the door. And the airplane is shut down. That's the flow. Then we run through the checklist. So again, the flow is avionics off, lights all off except any collision, fuel pumps off, mixture out. Once the props have stopped, 
magnetos off, a, all lights, including any collision, off, then um, alternators off, master off. One thing we did forget to do that I'm noticing is we forgot to close up the landing light. So I'll flip the master back on real quick. Right click the landing light switch to bring the, um, the landing lights in. Because remember the landing lights on this plane are pop out lights on the wingtips. So three position switch, they'll be out if the, um, the switch is in that position. That is it for shutdown. Uh, taxing in is pretty simple and that is it for shutdown. We'll run through the checklist, so brakes set, avionics off, switches off, throttle mixture, all that's good, alternators, master off, control lock. We're going to re-secure the plane, so I'm going to hit F7 to bring up the, um, the pre-flight thing, the animations controller. We'll go ahead and shut the door since we are done. Pilot is out of the airplane. And as we get ready, we will put on the chocks and the engine and pedo covers. That's it. That is it. Now there's a few notes with the shutdown checklist I want to read. Note, the fuel pumps must be turned off prior to stopping the engines. We know that if we follow the flow correctly, that won't be a problem. To securely latch the cabin door from the outside of the, the exterior door handle must be rotated clockwise to its stop. Not applicable in the simulator. Note, with the mixture levers in the idle cutoff, fuel flow is effectively blocked at the fuel metering unit. Thus, it is unnecessary to place the fuel selectors in the off position if the airplane is receiving normal usage. However, for a long period of inactivity is anticipated, the fuel selectors should be off to preclude any possible fuel seepage that might develop through the metering valve. So basically what that means is, if you're going to be flying the airplane again that day, you can leave these as are. That you do not need to move these to the cutoff position if you're going to be flying the airplane again that day. If, however, it's the airplane's last day, flight of the day, or you are parking in an FBO to go on vacation somewhere and they're going to be putting it in a hangar for you, put them to the off position. Not required if you're going to be flying it again that day, though. And one last note, do not leave the fuel selectors in an intermediate position as fuel from the main tanks will transfer to the auxiliary tanks. Don't ask me how if the fuel pumps ain't running, but they'll find a way, I guess. So they either need to be on their primary tank for that engine or in the off position if you're not going to be flying the plane again soon. And that is it to normal flying in the Cessna 310. There are more videos to come. Uh, the next few videos are going to be covering things like traffic pattern, IFR operations, night operations, emergency operations, stuff like that. For most of that, you will combine the things you've learned in this series with the things we're doing. So from here on out, we're not going to be talking procedures for the plane that are normal. That's why I break these videos up into sections and do all the sections first for flying the plane because we can get that detail out the way and you'll know how to fly the plane already once we start talking about the other stuff like IFR flying, like night operations. So hope you enjoyed it thus far. We will see you next time.